Talk about 2017, man. It's kind of an up and down year for you, right? I mean, it started out great, and then of course, you know, the difficulties at the end of the year. So, what, what was it like for you? Uh, you know, it started out great. Uh, you know, uh, I was able to overcome uh, uh, two fight and a losing streak, and uh, I had a great performance. I felt great, you know. And uh, leading up to uh, September, I felt phenomenal. And then, you know, natural disaster occurs. You know, being a first-time father. You know, husband, I never be through any situation like that. You know, when it's just me going through adversity, it's easy. I know what to do, but it won't involve your loved ones, you know. It, it was pretty tough. I made every attempt to, to leave, you know, the state. It started from Thursday, the week before the fight, all the way to Tuesday. You know, on Tuesday, I spent eight hours at the airport, you know, and I couldn't make it. And then I got back home, you know, to check on my dog, my English Bulldog of 10 years, you know, he's dead, you know, laying on the floor and everything. But even before finding him, you know, uh, dad, I, I made the decision that it, it wasn't worth for me to compete in those conditions, you know. It, it was easy for me to stay with my family, which is the most important thing for me, you know, and live to fight another day, no big deal, you know. But that decision of doing what's best for my family, it cost me a lot. I got a lot of bad rap on it, you know. Uh, I pretty much had to bag you know, to get a, a fight schedule, you know, it, it, it's, and it's uh, outraging, you know, uh, it kind of uh, put a chip on my shoulder, you know, uh, after 12 years in this organization, you know, doing what is right by me, by my family, you know, I still have to prove myself day in, day out, which is, I don't, I don't complain, this is the nature of the business, you're always as good as your last fight, you know, but I was expecting a little bit more of understanding, but it is what it is, you know. It made me ten times stronger. I got that chip on my shoulder now, man, and I'm, I'm hungry like I never been before. I was gonna say, I mean, it had to be frustrating because it did seem like people kind of rushed to judge you, like even the fans, before they really knew what was going on. I mean, did that? I mean, did that hurt? Because you're a guy that's been around forever. So did that hurt your feelings a little bit that people did that? It, it, it upset me, you know. It upset me that doing the right thing, you know, it cost me so much. It cost me, you know, uh, uh. uh it kind of diminished my name a little bit, you know, the, 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 the victory that I had in the beginning of the year kind of got scratched, you know. Uh, 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 people are saying I was scared of, you know, a, a, a fighter. That it, 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 it was upsetting, you know. But the most upset stuff was losing my dog, putting my family through all this, and you know, all the emotional charge that, you know, my wife, you know, and I have been through. You know, leaving in the gym for, you know, a week without power, without anything, and then lose you know, my best friend of 10 years and everything. But, you know, I, I do believe that it made me stronger. You know, I, I didn't want it to happen. You know, now i living a little bit, but it did happen. And I always come on top, you know, different situations like that. You know, I have that pit bull mentality. I have that heart, you know, and you guys will see us out of there Sunday night. You feel like, you know, you said it, I think, that you feel like that win almost got erased. You know, that to me seemed like the start of a new phase in your career. And then now it's like, now we got to start over. Is that kind of how you feel that, that just this is another new beginning? Yes and no, because I know what I'm about. I know the work I've been putting in, you know, I know where my body is. I know the people I have around me. So I know it's just a matter of time, me getting the octagon and, and having fun, letting loose, you know, being the pit bull that I've always been. And this pit bull, it's more lethal than I ever been before. He's focused, he's driven, you know. I never had that, I always had that uh, never quit mindset. But now, it's it's not even a question uh, or doubt, you know, goes through my mind. I know I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna be vicious, I'm gonna be relentless, and I'm excited to get in there. You seem so focused and so dialed in right now, but I do wonder, have there ever been moments along the way where there's some doubt where you think, you know, the injuries that you've had and then a freaking hurricane of all things. Are you like, I just must have the worst luck ever. You know, why, why is the world against me? Yeah, you, you know, especially in a, in a business like this that, you know, you have to prove yourself. You put everything in the line, you know, every time you step in, in there. But, you know, it, it really shows, it builds your character. You know, I've been through way too many shit to let a, a, a thing like this, you know, break me. I, I, I put in so much in, you know, to that just be it. You know, this is a new beginning, you know, and pressure, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a privilege. And I'm excited to have this pressure. And I'm excited to go out there and just go at it, man. You know, I get goosebumps just to think about it. I'm crunching my teeth right now because I'm, I'm hungry. And it's been a long time I'm not this hungry. You fought the very best in the world. They come to you with a name like Zach Cummings. No disrespect to Zach, he's a tough guy, but not the name, you know, that you fought before. So when they came to you with that, were you a little... 
disappointed or, or what, what was your thought about the matchup? I said, let's go. You know, I, I never was the fighter that chose my opponent. You know, my job is to go out there and to fight. I'm old school. You know, and, and, and right now I just see a little different trend with this social media thing. Guys are trying to pick fights and uh, choose the best way to get on top. I don't have anything of that, man. My job is to fight, you know, so just give me a name. I talk to my coaches, I talk to my team, I get ready, and as a cute. So that comes a tough dude. He's a tougher that they come. You know, and I got a lot of respect for the dude, but it's it's just a bad tan, a bad day, you know, bad night for him to be in front of, in front of me that, that that against the cage. You know? And I'm excited to go out there. And I'm gonna put on a on a show. It's incredible to think how long your career has already been, how long you've been in the UFC. So where do you feel like you're at? I mean, do you feel like you're? It seems like you feel like maybe you're just entering your prime. Whereas some people might say you're, you know, you have to be on the downside. But no, you feel like you're, you're just getting strong. You know, the the beautiful thing about you know, the people don't know me. You know, I, I, the people that know me are it's my family, my coaches. You know, but all the outside voice they don't matter to me because they don't know me. They don't know what I've been through. They don't know how much work I put in day in day out. How much I invest. How much I have to sacrifice. So it kind of it, it brings me fuel. You know, I'm 34 years old. This is the best I ever been. This Tiago right now will destroy that Tiago that fought Jean Saint Pierre when he was 25. And I'm not. It will not even be fair. You know, so this is it's a, it's a new beginning, but it's a much more focused and precise you know beginning for me. I'm excited, and you know, I got myself out of the rankings twice. You know, injuries kept me out of the rankings. Uh, me trying to drop to 55 kept me out of the rankings. Nobody boot me out of the rankings. I did, you know, and I'm that good that I'll put myself back in right after this fight. Very nice. What are the career goals right now? You said, you know, you're putting family first, obviously, that's a big priority for you, but what do you still want to accomplish in your career? What are the, what are the goals right now? I'm coming for the belt, you know, I'm coming for the belt, of course, one fight at a time. You know, I got a very tough task ahead of me uh, on Sunday night, but dude, I'm, I always had that dream in my heart and I got put this dream in my heart of being a UFC champion and I'm not gonna stop I'm not gonna give up it doesn't make sense for me to do what I do without have that belt in my mind and I'm coming for him in 2018 it's my year we're gonna start the year great and we're gonna finish the year even better very strong what's well, gonna start on Sunday night when you play this thing out in your head how do you see this fight going down I see even me beating him up for 50 minutes or finishing him very very early with a knockout with the submission he told that you know all this 12 years of my career I didn't involve as a fighter that's what he's hoping for he's hoping that I, I, I'm the same guy you know and that's gonna be just really really sad for him on Sunday night